Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do an up-close reveal of this Coach Mindy Bennett satchel that I got from Poshmark. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil Frilla, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So this is a Coach Mindy Bennett satchel. Um, if you've been with me for a while, I, do, I have done uh, a fair number of unboxings of Coach Mindy Bennett satchels. Um, so a lot of the information that I present today will be a repeat of what's in those videos, but um, I did want to give you kind of an up-close look of this bag. For those of you who've never seen it before, um, it is a different color than what I've ever unboxed in the past. It's this beautiful chestnut color. Um, I will link all of my past Mini Bennett Satchel videos below in the comments in case you want to see this bag in different styles, in the older version, um, and then see some other details as well. So like I said, I got this bag from Poshmark. The seller described it as new without tags, and it does appear to never have been used. It does appear to be in pretty good shape. There's a couple very, very small flaws that I've seen, um, but otherwise I really am happy with this purchase. Uh, the front of the bag is pretty, pretty simple. So you have your Coach logo here in the gold uh, hardware. It's in a raised metal, so you can see the raised metal there. Um, the front of the bag also has the hang tag that says coach. Now this bag is in that cross grain leather, which is a treated leather that's a little bit more durable. It also makes it a little bit shiny, but I will say that it's looking a lot shinier on camera than it does in real life. Um, so just putting that out there. Um, so you can see one of the small flaws is that on the hang tag, there's this black mark. I kind of wonder, so it doesn't look like a pen mark to me in real life. So I kind of wonder if that is just glazing that someone at the factory accidentally marked the hang tag with because there is a bunch of black glazing on the side of the hang tag. So I don't know. Um, the other parts of the front of the bag, so you have the top handles being held by this piece of leather. The leather is stitched on with like a coordinating color of brown stitch. And then you have black glazing all along the sides there. The handles are held by these metal rings that say coach on the side right there. And then you have the handles um, is, are just like a folded, folded and then stitched with stitches going up. There's black glazing on the side of the handles. Um, you can see that there. The length of the stitch differs a little bit from right here to up here, which I can forgive because I'm sure this was a very awkward curved kind of sew. Um, so I'm not super judgmental about that. Uh, so the great thing about these bags is that, of course, the handle lays flat when you wear it crossbody because it does come with a crossbody strap. And so you can just, it has a lot of flexibility in how the handle hangs. The hang tag has um, a little chain that holds it and that says coach on it. This is always hard to show. There, you can kind of see it uh, saying coach right there. Um, so that is the stamping on the hardware on the front of the bag. Now there's like a leather trim right here. And again, that has a coordinating stitch and a coordinating kind of brown thread, and then a black glazing on the side. This bag, I think, is really attractive because it's a really great affordable alternative to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Vendelier. It's a hair smaller than the Speedy 25, but it has a lot of the same function with the um, nice top handle that folds down, the crossbody strap, and then, of course, that kind of classic Boston bag kind of shape. Um, so this is a really popular, I think, style from Coach. Uh, the sides of the bag are pretty simple. So you have the zipper that goes all the way down, and then you just have this leather um, bit that's kind of attaching to the leather trim on the front, and that is what surrounds the zipper. You can see here that there is nothing else kind of below um, the crossbody strap. On the older version of the Mini Bennett, there used to be kind of a gold stud here that was just a little bit of ornamentation, and now that's not there anymore. Um, the zipper pull is right here. It does say it does say ideal on the side there, so it's not a YKK zipper, um, but that is, again, the same as all of my past Mini Bennett's. And then you can see there that the um, little D-ring that starts to hold the shoulder strap also says coach right there. Um, the shoulder strap connects via this dog leash clip that opens and closes like so. Um, the uh, clip says coach on the little button right there, and then it also says coach down here at the bottom. You can start to see that stamping, although it's always really hard to show this on camera. Um, the 
dog leash clip is attached to the strap via a loop again and then there's just a loop here that kind of supports that and makes a little bit stronger you can see that double stitch right there but it's really holding everything into place and then just a bunch of black glazing along the side again um, to finish everything off the strap is adjustable so it is adjustable via these like belt loop type holes um, or belt type holes and then you do have a piece of leather that can hold on the edge of the strap so that it doesn't like curl up so that you have a nice kind of clean strap look when you wear it. The shoulder strap adjusting mechanism, I thought it usually says coach on the side here, but um, it doesn't say coach on this one, and I don't know if that's because uh, this is the newer version that has less hardware, or if maybe I'm just mis misremembering and it doesn't usually say coach. Um, so there is no stamping on this gold buckle here. The back of the bag is very similar to the front. You have, again, those pieces of leather holding the top handle and then that leather trim with that black glazing and then coordinating stitching. Um, you can see the sides of the both the front and the back have this kind of piping detail, which I think is really nice. So it's not just a seam with some glazing, but you actually have like a piping there where they folded the leather to make that stitch. So I do think that will be a little bit more durable than like a glazing. Again, you have that bottom piping as well. So the bottom of the bag is a different piece of leather, so you have a stitch along there, and then black glazing, and then um, just a plain bottom with no feet, and then you do have some piping. So one little flaw of this bag that I haven't necessarily tried to clean off is there's just a little bit of white marks on the um, leather. I haven't tried to clean it off. It's not really that noticeable because the leather is kind of shiny, um, so I don't want to work too hard at scrubbing it because I'm afraid I might actually damage the leather by working too hard at it, um, but it is just a little flaw. So, you know, when you're buying bags on Poshmark, when you're buying um, used or, you know, pre-owned bags, even if they are new and never used, uh, you do have to kind of pay attention to those small things because there are little flaws that a seller might just miss, um, and, and you want to make sure that the bag is in um, in a condition that you're okay with. You know, those white marks may not bother some people, they may bother others, um, but you do want to kind of make sure you thoroughly inspect the bag before you accept the order from the seller. The only um, other detail is here on the side. The zipper pull is a circular piece of metal and then um, a leather pull tab with coordinating stitching and black glazing all again. So when I open the bag, it opens up and it is just a coordinating fabric on the inside. I'm going to turn on the light so you can see the interior has one slip pocket here and you can see that the slip pocket has stitching there with um, a similar thread or probably the same thread as the outside and then you have a zip pocket back here um, you have the creed and then you have the zip pocket the zip pull here is actually a smooth leather whereas on the outside it is a cross grain leather so just a little bit different the seller did leave me the care instructions here um, so that was kind of nice and then you just have a slip pocket down there interior is pretty simple but uh, pretty functional so you have you know you can use that slip pocket for maybe a wallet and then back here for some catch-all stuff so yeah that is my reveal of this coach me Bennett satchel um, like I said I got it on Poshmark, so I will link both my Poshmark down below as well as my referral code for you to get $10 off your first purchase. You can get a lot of really good deals on Poshmark. Um, I have a video actually about how I search for really good deals on coach bags on Poshmark, so I will uh, link that down below as well. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or any comments, and I will see you next time. Bye!